Good evening, um, ladies and gentlemen and distinguished guests. A warm welcome to you all this evening to our launch of Metro North's Pathways program. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we're meeting this evening, the Turable people, and ask that you all reflect with the same pride that I feel to uh, live in a country that contains the oldest continuous surviving culture on the planet. I would like to acknowledge the Honourable Lawrence Springborg, Minister for Health, Dr Paul Alexander, Chair of the Metro North Hospital and Health Service, Professor Claire Jackson, Chair of Metro North Brisbane Medicare Local, Mr Malcolm Stamp, CEO of Metro North Hospital and Health Service, and Dr Jane Ingham, Chair of GP Partners. The Map of Medicine is a joint partnership and it's a joint initiative between Metro North Hospital and Health Service and Metro North Brisbane Medicare Local. So what is this Pathways Program? <clears throat> well, in simple terms, the Pathways Program brings together clinicians from hospital and community to agree a best practice, localised, clinical pathway for people that exhibit particular symptoms. The outcome is a smoother and usually quicker journey for patients and the allocation of medical resources to greatest effect. And it is the collaboration between clinicians that's really the most um, critical factor in the success of this program. The, the Medicare local and prior to that, the divisions of general practice have employed general practice liaison officers or GPLOs for many, many years and they've been doing a lot of work. But this extra cash that came through that, um, that election commitment has, has enabled um, a far greater and wider um, area of activity. <clears throat> In one example of what GPLOs have been able to achieve, um, there has been a reduction as a result of the collaboration amongst um, clinicians in the hospital and also with primary care. There's been a reduction in wait lists in category two from uh, nine months to four and a half months and a reduction um, in waits in category three from six years to zero. So that kind of change is actually really meaningful uh, to patients or to health consumers. This initiative is one we're incredibly excited about. We in Australia have the best of healthcare in terms of very high quality clinical service delivery, but we have these two amazing worlds. The worlds in primary care, where we have the best of general practice, allied health, community nursing, and the world of hospital care, where we have real excellence, quality, and safety. Bringing the two of them together has been the biggest challenge for our healthcare system over 20 years. And although we're still working very hard at getting it right, we're getting closer and closer all the time. Map of Medicine has become a bridge to bring those two really important worlds, to, worlds together so that what they offer across the interface is just as good as what they offer separately. Firstly, thank you very much for the great privilege and the opportunity to spend some time with you tonight and have the chance to be able to launch this map of medicine. Because I think it is extremely important because it is about innovation and it is about actually bringing two very disparate worlds together. And from my perspective, that probably seems quite strange as to why we need to do those sorts of things. So one would think that when it comes to clinical care, uh, things would necessarily mit, uh, knit together with perfect symbiosis all the time. Now these are sorts of things that you can do when you put in new systems, that you're not scared of change, that you actually allow people to engage and partner. And that's what this is all about. The GP liaison officers are very, very crucial in the process of ensuring from our government's perspective the liaison with uh, general practice, with primary care out there where we firmly believe a lot more needs to be able to be done and we will work to ensure that that is the case. Because if we can actually change the habits, if we can put people on the right treatment pathways at that early stage, then that is going to save the system enormously, not only now but also in the future. This uh, map of uh, medicine, I think, is extremely important because it actually allows that partnership to continue to flourish between the Metro North Hospital and Health Service and the Metro North Medicare Local. It is about providing uh, care providers uh, with the uh, latest and best information to assist that patient with their treatment pathways. It has extraordinary, extraordinary benefits in making sure that we've got the right care, right place, right time, that they get the best opportunity and that they themselves can also be front and centre of being part of their health care. Putting forward what is best for a country and organisation is, is the reason why we're actually getting some success here. We see this as one of 
many, many programs that we're putting in place. With the cooperation and the, certainly, I think the total commitment of our staff, and I'd like to, Kerry's not here tonight, I don't think, but to uh, acknowledge, acknowledge Kerry Mann, who really was instrumental also, and Malcolm as well, to take it to the next level to ensure that this becomes an important key structure going forward, and it, and it will be. Uh, it's, it's something that will value add to so many different initiatives that we've got inside our organisation, and I know that it will contribute to the breakdown of those barriers between various organisations. So thank you again, thanks for the opportunity, and I think there are many other things that we can do together. To date, we have published pathways covering 13 conditions with 20 individual care maps. This has required nine work groups involving 63 health professionals and more than 60 hours of meetings, not to mention the phone calls, emails and behind the scenes work. We've had a further 70 clinicians review our pathways for wider consultation for us. And in the last three months, we've had six practices and 60 GPs piloting Map of Medicine for us in the Metro North community. We are very aware of how important it is that this type of information is kept up to date and how quickly this information can change. All contact numbers, web links, etc., in our maps are going to be checked every three months because for this reason, this is one of the critical points in our maps in making it work is having these up-to-date contacts here. I also wanted to mention that Map of Medicine has the ability to integrate into general practice software. Discussions and planning for this are underway as we speak. The integration of MAP will be a great step forward for clinicians and patients in Metro North. Our program aims to build communication between GPs and specialists and in fact all healthcare professionals. This is a noble goal, I hear you say, and at the beginning of the project I did wonder how we would achieve it. But then I joined a work group. With the first meeting of a work group, Sometimes you can see the scepticism in some of the people in the room. But within the first hour of the first meeting is always changes. These people start to see how useful MAP can be and they start to develop an understanding of other people's roles in the patient's care. This is followed by an enthusiasm to develop a MAP and work as a team and that's where the real winning thing is for Map of Medicine.